Hey, welcome in. I'm Vicki Miller. I am a medium energy reader, and this is going to be this month's predictions. I'm here hiking in lovely Santa Barbara, California, one of my favorite places to be. I normally do these lives in my own family room, but my guides were like, you know what? Let's bring everybody here to this beautiful place, Santa Barbara, and see how peaceful and beautiful it is here. And I feel everybody needs it right now, too, with everything going on energetically. The biggest and easiest way to shift your energy in your life is de-plug from chaos and craziness and plug in to mother nature. Super easy, super healing. I would love for everybody to do that today, starting right now. But we're going to start talking about, um, I wanna tell you what I feel what's coming up for November predictions. Whew, November is just going to be a crazy cleansing month, good and bad. I don't even like to use the word bad because everything is irrelevant on what you feel it is, right? So I feel there's going to be a lot of things clearing out of your life. And this is shifting for the new paradigm coming in, especially winter solstice. Winter solstice is all about death and rebirth. And look at us in the United States, how much death and rebirth we're going around here, right? Um, there's a lot of energy flying too energetically and the mass consciousness as far as, um, you know, the election and mask and COVID and just so much energy with that. Well, I see it's actually going to kind of the first couple weeks in November kind of flatten out and become more... Um, I guess a little bit more quiet, I want to say. Uh, I feel people are going to start feeling lighter. I feel also a lot of truths are going to come out. So pretty much right now, I just told my fiance this the other day, is you can't hide anything. So you can't. You can try, but it will come out. Um, if you're trying to hide something, maybe it'll come out in an email. Maybe, you know, if you're cheating, like that email will come up or it'll come up on your phone or you know, whatever in your life right now. So this also means government wise. I feel that there's going to be a lot of, um, from politicians on both sides and everything and, you know, no judgment here. And I, it just kind of cracks me up because I have politicians as my clients. They're all the same. And, but you know, one side thinks another side is right. And it's just kind of interesting with that. But I do see truths coming up there on everything. Hopefully it's not too windy. You can't, you can still hear me here. Um, so the next two to three weeks in November is going to be truths coming out. And this means in your own life too. This means also universal. Um, I feel dreams, psychic abilities are going to start getting super powerful in your life. So listen to those nudges, listen to your intuition, listen to those things that are you feel, you know, nudged to do. Um, when I said the bad, I really don't like to use the word bad because I see things falling away in your life that really just don't serve your, you anymore. But some people are very emotionally attached to those things. So friends could be changing, uh, jobs could be changing, um, money's definitely going to be changing. I keep getting something with money, prosperity wise. It's going to get lighter and easier, but I see there's going to be, you know, um, kind of like a hook there with that. So knowing what I've been telling everybody for a long time here, the more self-sufficient you can get, the better. When government starts to, has all these rules and regulations, and it's going to turn into a time, it's gonna take about a year, year and a half. And this is United States that I'm tapping into. But we are, they are trying to do one world nation where they're chumming together. And the thing is, is the more they're in power by giving people is what they do is they take control. They take control by taking people's income away. Like right now they're doing the whole, you know, they're squeezing our economy by not opening the jobs and stuff. But then is what's going to happen. They're going to give you money and say, oh, here's, you know, the stimulus check and here's this. But there is going to be eventually you need to get a vaccination or you need to do this or you need to do this to buy food. And so just always be prepared for this. So the more self-sufficient you can get starting right now, growing your own food, getting those chickens, um, you know, being off the government's assistance, and the more control you'll have of your own life and you won't feel like you have to be controlled um, by others because we are moving into that. I don't see that yet in November, but just forewarning everybody here. Um, I also feel there's gonna be health-wise change. Um, I see us getting healthier, but I, I feel there again, some truths are gonna come out 
where maybe the government has been saying we're not getting healthier, but I see the truths are definitely going to come out. Um, and you're going to know it through your intuition. Your in, Everybody's intuition is really kicking up. It's really going to be an overdrive, especially this month. So this could be a month where you're starting to feel things and nudge things. And especially if you haven't been awakened before, you haven't had this intuitive feeling before, and now you're like, wow, like what is this feeling? Intuition comes through feelings. It comes through sensing, seeing. It could come through visions. It could come through just knowing, just having this knowing. Um, and so go with that. Also through dreams. Dreams are going to start getting really, really powerful. As we move forward into the end of November, um, I see some controversy coming up with the government. <laughs> Probably for sure here in the United States, right? Um, I see some controversy. And, you know, this is a big Thanksgiving time too, where it is family time. And it, holidays can be very emotional. Every year anyways, we're in winter solstice. We're in you know, winter solstice is always death and rebirth. So literally people will be dying, but also things coming out of your, out of your life will be dying. But I'm telling you this December 2020 is where it's really significant for the change of, um, moving into the new paradigm for six years. So the good thing is those things that are really needing to leave your life are going to leave your life. You're going to feel like I need a new tribe of friends or I need a new job or you're going to really be like, I'm listening to my heart center now. And that is my advice to you. Listen to your heart. This is actually a beautiful era for healing and listening to our heart center. No more along with the, the mind or the, the belief systems, really shedding those beliefs. And so I see the rest of the November really a lot of aha moments really like wow truth i didn't even know i felt this way denial um is going to be coming up too so anything you've been denying yourself truth is going to come out so you don't really even have to worry about it like don't even think about how am i going to know the truth it's just going to come out you're not even going to have to worry about it uh this is a big time too manifesting is going to happen really really fast so putting your energy toward positive thinking positive words um, all those things are really going to start showing up in your lap. I see a lot of synchronicity. I also see a lot of new tribes showing up. So maybe some new friendships showing up in your life. You've been wanting a new relationship. They're going to be of a deeper level. It's also going to be a clearing level too. So maybe you've been in a relationship and it hasn't been successful or you're not at the same level, but you've just really been holding on to it just because. Well, that's going to go to the wayside then. Now that's going to be okay, I, I can't do this anymore. And you're going to feel so much better. And things are going to really start affecting you energetically too. Like the people, I'm trying to look for my path here. The people that are draining you, you're going to start really feeling it. Like if you're around them, you're going to be like, oh my God, I just can't breathe. Where before you could probably sustain it. And now you're just going to be like, oh, get, get me away from this. I can't do this or the job or whatever it is. You're going to start really feeling it. And you're not, you're going to start seeing what really lights you up and what drains you. So I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, just being ready and prepared a little heads up on December. December is going to be a roller coaster. So really start looking at right now, what doesn't make me feel great? What, what, what do I need to let go of? So I can really bring in December and make this a really powerful month for me. Um, yeah, so we'll see how November goes here. Those are my predictions. Everybody have a beautiful, awesome November. Remember to select power in love, detach from all negativity, detach from that negative media, detach from everything and plug into the beautiful mother nature. Sending you love and happiness.